How y'all doing? I'm Derek Moore. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Fat Boys Cooking Show. Today we're going to have a very special episode. We've got something towards the end of the video that's going to be very special to some of the people who are very special to us. And uh, we're going to do a Cajun recipe today. We're, you know, lots of Cajun cooking goes on on this show. So uh, today we got a Cajun chicken and mushroom sauce and a uh, Cajun rice dressing to go with that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on all this and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started on this Cajun chicken and mushroom sauce. Uh, right now we got our oven preheated to uh, 350 degrees. It's preheating. we got our big black cast iron skillet here. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. Turn it on to about a medium heat. We're going to grab our two sticks of butter. We're going to put both these sticks of butter in here to get melted. Because this is what we're going to saute everything in. There's one. And while our butter's melting over here in our cast iron skillet, we got our good looking chicken breast right here. Uh, got some nice skinless boneless chicken breast right here. And um, we're going to go ahead and season this up. Now let me tell you a, bit, a little bit about this seasoning right here. Our friends that uh, Two Gringos in San Antonio with the Chupacabra seasoning has come out with a Cajun blend seasoning. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a try and uh, tell Mr. Alton and Miss Betty how it is. So we're going to go ahead and what you want to do is you can't use too much of this. We're going to sprinkle this on there real thick. Look at that. Get it all going good. Let me get my tongs. And I'll go ahead and give it a good quick flip, every one of them. The ones I missed, I'll go ahead and hit them up good. Go ahead and get it all flipped over. Look at that. Missed that one. That's a big one there. Go ahead and get it all flipped over. We're going to season all these this side real good. Thick. Man, it smells good. I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. All right, we got our chicken seasoned. As soon as our butter gets melted, we're gonna go ahead and brown these chicken breasts on each side. All right, we got our butter melted. Now we're gonna brown these uh, chicken breasts on each side. We don't want to cook them. We just want to brown them on each side. So put that one in there like this. It's a big one. Just stick them in there. Pretty tight. I think we can get one more of these small ones in there. All right, we're going to give these a quick sear and get it brown on each side. All right, while we got our chicken browner over here in our skillet, we're going to go ahead and chop up some of our vegetables. It calls for uh, two medium onions. We'll go ahead and get these chopped up. And, you know, of course, everybody knows I compost and stuff, so uh, this is where I'm going to put all my vegetable scraps to go in my compost garden so we, so we can have uh, great vegetables come in the spring. So. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get these, cost the two medium onions, we'll go ahead and get these chopped up. We got two medium onions, two bell peppers chopped up, and four ribs of celery chopped up. We put another stick of butter in there. We're going to go ahead and get these sauteed down nice. All right, we've had this simmering for about two or three minutes. We're going to go ahead and put our mushrooms in there with it and saute, the, saute these up also. All right, now that we got our vegetables uh, sauteed down, we're going to take a slotted spoon because you want to leave your butter in there. And you just want to pour this on top of your chicken breast. Nice and thick. Just like that. Right, now that we got our vegetables on top of our chicken breast, we're going to go ahead and make our mushroom sauce. So we'll come over here, we're going to grab uh, two tablespoons of flour. There's one. 
throw that in there. And two, we're going to give it a good whisk. Alright, got it pretty thick right there. We're going to go ahead and add our remaining ingredients. Turn the heat down to low. And let's see here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add four tablespoons of uh, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. One, two, three, and four. Alright. And we're going to add our um, two bay leaves. Go ahead and add two of these. One, two. And we're going to take one can of cream of mushroom soup. Actually, two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Go ahead and get them both open. We're going to give, empty these in there and give it a good whisk. Stir it in there real good. Get all everything out of your can. sauce kind of a sauce consistency texture of a thick sauce all right we got our uh, mushroom sauce mix and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour this over top just like that look at that sauce mm -mm -mm. instead of skillet back down we're just gonna kind of spread this out over top of our chicken. All right, and we're, what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, wrap this thing up in foil, and we're going to bake it at 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. All right, now that we got our chicken in the oven cooking, uh, we're going to go ahead and start on our Cajun rice dressing. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, two pounds of just regular ground beef. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And this is kind of a weird recipe. Y'all gonna think we're crazy, but it's actually the way it's supposed to be. So uh, anyway, we're gonna put raw ground beef in there, two pounds. All right, get that chopped up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, one cup of green bell pepper. Get that in there. And one cup of uh, celery, chopped. And then we're going to uh, put our Chupacabra Cajun blend seasoning in here. I mean, just get after it. You can't use too much of this. Just get after it. There we go. Looks about right. Then we're going to put our uh, one cup of uh, parsley flakes in there. And a cup of uh, green onion tops. Just the green onion part. We're going to put one can of uh, cream of onion soup. Just like that. And then we'll put uh, two cups of cream of mushroom soup. Just gotta kinda spoon this out because it's kinda thick. Get all that in there. Alright, this is the second one going in. And spoon that in. And almost, alright. We're gonna put three cups of uh, uncooked rice. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab a bigger bowl. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna need a little bit bigger bowl for this. Three cups of uh, uncooked rice. 
and we're gonna get this mixed up real good. Just kind of stir it up, mix it up, however you want to do it. All right, I got my casserole dish here. We're gonna give it a quick spray with some vegetable oil spray on each, all the sides and in the middle. And all you're gonna do is just kind of fold this into it. kind of mash it down in there get it all spread out nice and even look at that look at that that looks fantastic and smells even better mm -hmm. all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap it real tight and full and then we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for one hour this time we want to uh, give a special thanks to Mr. Alton and Miss Betty Paris from uh, Two Gringos Seasoning out of San Antonio, Texas. Um, we started, me and my son here, Keaton, we started uh, these videos just for kind of fun and everything. And Keaton's done all the legwork, emailing and everything. And uh, we, you know, got these guys right here. They've sent us product. We've got the new Cajun blend product. Five pound jug of the uh, regular Chupacabra rub. Uh, t-shirts and everything like that and we just wanted to uh, tell them thank you for that um, they've been wonderful they're one of our sponsors um, we don't know how far this thing will go but we're gonna take it as far as you know as far as anybody will let us so uh, we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts uh, thank you thank you so much mr. Alton and miss Betty for this and for the opportunity to put your product in our videos and guys let me tell you I mean I grew up in Louisiana, and we've always been Tony Satchery's fans and all that, which I still love my Tony's on some things. But let me tell you what, this Chupacabra rub right here, if you want a unique seasoning that's got something that not any other seasoning has it got. It pops. I've tried, we've tried just about every seasoning, and there is no demand. And let me tell you, this stuff right here is fantastic. Let me tell you, it is awesome. Um, we're going to put a link on our video, on our website, on our uh, Facebook page. Uh, to where any of you guys that want this seasoning can get it and uh, I'm sure Mr. Alton and Miss Betty will be uh, pleased to have your uh, You know service service. So uh, anyway, we just want to say thank you guys for all this and uh, let's see where it takes us And like I always say keep it southern stay southern